have this feeling, feeling. Haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping Caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now Day 18, holiday's nearly over, getting a little bit sad. Uh, just been chilling in the hot tub this morning. We've got a, a late lunch booking at um, Rainforest Cafe in Animal Kingdom. Uh, and then we're heading into Animal Kingdom Park. We've got Das Passes booked for um, Navi River and the Safari. And then we're hoping to do Flight Passage again and uh, The Lion King as well because we haven't seen the show this time we've been here it was really good last time so we're hoping to do that so we're just gonna chill a little bit more get a shower we're hoping to uh, go to the, like the kids playground on the uh, Emerald Island Resort on our way out today you know it's been one to go it's, just, it's always difficult finding time when you're in the parks all day um, and then you kind of get up and just get sorted and, and, and go out for the park so we're going to try and do it today we're going to have a look at the uh, kids playground and uh, yes yeah, so that's the plan for today um, oh, we're hoping to go to Magic Kingdom tonight after uh, Animal Kingdom um, be open till 11 o'clock tonight believe it or not uh, so we're hoping there's no rain and we can get to see uh, Enchantment again well not again see it this time after being rained off last time um, so yeah, got the, still got a full day to do, action packed, so um, let's get sorted and uh, head over. Right, so it's um, just gone 11 o'clock, uh, we'll have Kelly and Kate in, in the villa, uh, they're just chilling. I've come out with the boys um, to the, the parks, There's I believe there's two parks, there's one near the clubhouse at the entrance. And we've come with the other one first, which is on the, uh, I think it's on the corner of Fiesta Key Drive and La, La Island Drive, something like that. Um, so it's got this one. So we're going to have a look at this one first, and then if we've got time, we'll go and have a look at the one at the reception. Sorry, the entrance where the, um, the clubhouse is. So uh, let's go and take a look. No one likes to park the best, Tom's getting a little bit too old, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, pretty cool. We've got a uh, big climbing dome, a um, couple of slides, and little activity things. It's good that it's uh, covered uh, from the sun. And then there's a couple of swings here. Let's take a little seat down here while I wait. So yes, yeah, so we're not really gone around um, the Emerald Isles. We did plan on kind of going around, seeing other like properties and things, um, and the clubhouse and that kind of thing. This is a, this is like a shared pool over the clubhouse. Um, I think there's like a, a bar and things like that. We just never really found the time, to be honest. Um, like you were saying, I think in the last vlog that we uh, get out most of the day at the um, at the parks and things, um, you know, you kind of pay for your park tickets, it's the most important. Um, you don't want to feel like you're wasting time um, not being in the park when you paid for the tickets. Um, you know, I kept wanting to go to the park. I mean, like, come all the way to Florida, got park tickets, and uh, there's parks at home. Got lots of uh, kids' play parks back at home. Um, but we've got like about an hour 
Um, not doing anything this morning, having a later start. So, um, I know it's nearly the end of the holiday, but better than never. Eh? <laughs> so, yeah, they'll be enjoying himself. Yeah, and Thomas. Um, while they have a play on there, and then we'll, we'll try and head over to the other one so we can show you the other player park. There is a, um, like a, um, like a crazy golf. Uh, over there as well, I'm not sure whether that's inclusive but I probably won't have time for that to be honest um, yeah, I'll just nice to show you a few um, of the amenities on uh, Emerald Isle <laughs> yeah, there's another two uh, boys playing here as well we've got very squeaky squeak swings <laughs> That's something we haven't seen before. <laughs> wow, are you doing that good? And this is the other uh, kids' play area up uh, where the clubhouse is. There's mini golf here. And uh, just like a little bit of a car park. And up, let me see my finger. Up there is the way you see, like the. And a lot of the photos of them are Emerald Islands, uh, like the dolphins and the fountains, um, roundabout. And then just kind of there is the security, and then out um, of the complex. And then this here, just in front of us behind, is the clubhouse. And then through here is, like you film too much, but through here is the um, shared pool for the um, Emerald Island. There's some beds and things here. And I think there's a jacuzzi there as well. There you go, that's where the main, uh, like the road coming up to the security hut. There you go, these lovely fountains and lakes. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the gatehouse. Just check the cars. That one's the way out. See down the, the road that, and then that's the entrance bit there. And then this is what you see, everyone sees in uh, photos if you um, search up Emerald Island. That's like a roundabout all the way around. I was sat nav in the car, cause it a traffic circle, which I think is quite funny. But yeah, so that's uh, the main sign. Right, and this is the main um, entrance, like lobby for the clubhouse. Let's have a little look around. Let's get some notices here. I've noticed this one's beware of bear sighting. <laughs> I'll tell you in America. Imagine if you just saw a bear. Say it out there. <laughs> what would you do now if you found if you if a bear was out? It says it says, it says bears have been sighted. What would you do? Hug. Uh? Hug. Sorry. Hug. You would hug it. Mm. Okay. Not sure you would. Right. Should we carry on through? Let's see what's inside. Oh. The doggy. <laughs> That's kind of reception here. And Jim through there. <laughs> Little like shop, guess it's like honestly what it says everything two dollars. Let's just put the money in somewhere. Oh no, you pay it you pay it uh, pay at reception. Restrooms and lockers. It's the gym there. Good morning. Morning. Yes. That's out to the pool. It's just like a shared area. And the uh, internet cafe. Oh, there's the putting uh, things. Wi Fi, and then we've got lots of uh, leaflets here. You can help yourself to. So that's basically everything, to be honest. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Right, so we uh, have uh, asked the clubhouse um, for mini golf, and there isn't any charge. We've just left uh, our address uh, where we're staying at and my ID, and then obviously get it back when we uh, go back. Y'all better tell me because I'm not handling it anymore. I think there's a nine in the left. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. No, see, that's where we're going to Yeah, right about here. nine, something like that. So anyway, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a play around here. Uh, it's good that it's included. No extra charge. There is a nature trail as well, just up... Um, there's my finger. Just up here, somewhere behind these cars, across the road. Right, we finished. The results are in. Last place, Nora, 42. Thomas with 40. And Dad... Got 30. Woohoo! No hole in ones this time, though, was there? By anyone? Lizard. Yeah, there is lizards all over around here. I walked down the path and there's like three, like, scarped off the path. Well, I might venture a little bit into the nature trail just for a few minutes just to show you what it's like. So these here, uh, I think, are uh, more like the townhouses, like a terrace. Um, I'm not sure if people still have them to rent out as holiday, uh, like vacation homes, I'm not sure. Um, but they're like terraced houses, like the townhouses, and then obviously we in the, the part where the villas are. So that's the clubhouse there, just across the road, a uh, security hut, and uh, this is the uh, nature walk. Sign posters here, can't miss it. So it's good if you maybe got like a dog, you could uh, walk around here. No idea how big it is, to be honest, how long it takes to get round. But I think it comes out just uh, up the road up here. The same road of, uh, as where we've come in on. That's quite peaceful. I think Noah's found a... Uh, Yep, I just found a uh, picnic bench if you want to come and have some lunch here. I've just seen a butterfly there as well, over there. Trash can as well, keep everything nice and tidy. Butterfly, is it? Keep back, keep back. I thought it was a bird. Did he say it's a butterfly? Yeah, they're just butterflies. Oh, More people! Ah, uh -huh, right. That's another butterfly up in the trees. Okay. Oh, it goes off in two directions here. Yeah. I didn't realise it did that. So that one round here to the left, I think it'll bring us back to the road that we oh, were on. Let's go that way then. And then there's, you can go that way as well. I'm not sure where it goes exactly. But we're not going to walk any further, never. This one need to get back. Right, and now we're back. Just come back the way we came in. Yep, the road's clear. And back to our car. Oh. There's some bikes here. I'm guessing you can hire them, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a camera there and everything to to uh, make sure. Uh, to see who takes some things. Right, so back to the car. We'll go back to the villa. I think we'll have uh, some ice cream uh, that we've got in the freezer before we uh, head out. We've arrived at Animal Kingdom. We're right in the middle of the uh, storm that's passing over. We're just going to wait it out in the car for like 20 minutes. And the worst should be over looking at the uh, weather. And then we'll go and head in. The is getting out and getting uh, soaked for 30, 20 minutes, but it is now coming down. The palm trees are blowing like mad. You see that? Yep. So yeah, we're just going to wait it out for a little bit. There we go. we got blue sky over there. It's obviously passing over here. 
can't even look out of one window of the car and look out the other window of the car and it's totally different days. So uh, it's a good thing in Florida you get a storm like this and generally it passes over in like half an hour and you're back to a lovely red hot summer day. Um, just been looking, we use um, AccuWeather and it has a radar section um, lots of like different uh, radar maps and it'll play like uh, like the next few hours or so of the weather and you can actually see that it's kind of green, yellow and red right in the centre and dead at our time it's absolutely tuning it down and in 20 minutes it gradually moves over exactly as you see the sky um, so I say we're gonna we're gonna wait about twenty minutes. We've waited what about ten minutes now. I'd say, and it's died down. We we'll probably get out now because it's, it's just spitting and the sun's coming out. Yay. So, uh, yeah, exactly as the radar map shows you is exactly what we're seeing. So it's worthwhile just waiting that ten minutes. So it's getting absolutely drenched for the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go head in, go to the Bayfowers Cafe for lunch, and we'll show you the menu and what we get there. Right, that's bag check done. Uh, Animal Kingdom. Rain is just about stopped, so it's worth waiting that uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, Rainforest Cafe now, which is just over here. That will be the breakfast menu. We've got the, the normal menu, appetizers, and entrees. I've been in the wall in London before, Main Flowers Cafe, so we know what to expect a little bit, but I don't think the uh, kids have no, no, especially hasn't. Yeah, I'm just going to get one. Oh, the tigers. So I've got the Rainforest Ricky, which I think it had in um, apple, pineapple, orange, strawberry and grapefruit. I think it's in a souvenir cup to take home. I'll have to ask. But uh, yeah, it's really fruity. It's like a, near like a syrupy, quite thick. It's really good. So we've got our food. Uh, Caitlin got the kids pepperoni pizza. Thomas and Noah got the chicken uh, dinosaurs. Kelly got the, uh, the mini Caesar salad. And I got the um, turkey wrap. It's got lettuce and uh, tomato and bacon in. Coleslaw and fries. So, it's such uh, shaved turkey breast. So I like expect it being fresh turkey carved. It's not just like thinly sliced turkey that you get in the pack in the supermarket. It's also not cold, I expect it to be uh, warm meat. Um, fries are fine. Uh, and the course was uh, good. It's not much, there's not like dressing up any wet on it. Um, but I mean, it, tastes, it, it, it all tastes good to be fair. Not really any complaints apart from um, kind of the dressing on the uh, coleslaw and the turkey I expect it to be warm and fresh. Car turkey. But that, yeah, good. Everyone else is happy with theirs. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to dig into these. 
and we all paired up in the main post cafe. Here's our $25 each uh, land your cards, signing up, and we are in Animal Kingdom now. Just look, I love this place. It's actually Russian to get to Navi River Journey. You get 15 minutes leeway if you're late. It is 15 minutes, so let's just see if they'll uh, allow us in. Hey, travelers, please do not climb on the rocks. Oh, Pandora. Navi uh, River Journey. So they've let us in. That was really nice of them. So yeah, a couple of minutes late of the extra time. So that was really nice of them to let us in. It might depend on how busy they are to, to whether they do that or not. It is still wet when we come out of Rainforest Cafe. I had my coat on and off twice. It's like it's raining. It's not raining. It is raining. It's just drizzly. It's like on and off. Opened it yet again. Look at the app, it's about 20 minutes of rain again. Yes. Wasn't supposed to rain anymore, to be fair, but it is what it is. It's a little Pandora. So, yeah, we've got a uh, Das Pass book for I think it's 10 past 5, Fight of Passage. So we get to do that again because we love that one before we head to Magic Kingdom. Yeah, so the other option we have was um, the Safari of the Lion King. Uh, but with the rain, we are thinking the Safari is probably not going to be worth it. The animals have probably gone for cover. So I think maybe go for the Lion King. That's the Lion King uh, show by the way and do that instead that'd be the better option I think it definitely is coming down oh, we've got a Disney duck over there swimming there we go there we see over there, the Festival of Lion King that's what I was thinking of when I said the Lion King show Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. There we are, we've arrived. We should get inside out this rain, eh? This theater is a lot bigger than I remember. It's huge. Oh, one of our seats with uh, those uh, push and disability. Expecting you. We are here today to welcome you, one and all, to a celebration of Festival of the Lion King. Who's driving this thing? Come on! I'm glad you can make it. We can't have this 
So that was the Festival of the Lion King. It's absolutely amazing. I loved it last time, loved it this time. Seeing live performance, you, know, you can't beat it, to be honest. I think it was cut a little bit short, uh, post-COVID times, and they definitely didn't do the uh, aerial acrobatics in the uh, Can You Feel The Love Tonight song. Um, well, I certainly can, not, not, not wonder why, you know, not sure. Uh, I don't think there'd be any closer. If I remember rightly, when they were doing aerial acrobatics, unless they don't have the staff uh, to do it, it's a bit like safety, no idea. But that was that was my favourite bit of it when we saw it the first time at the Pop Pole show uh, a few years back. Uh, the aerial acrobatics bit. So, but uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, live uh, music, you know, you can't beat it. To be honest, love the Lion King, love all those songs. So. Glad we got to see it again. Amazing. We are now going to try and still do um, the safari. Because it was kind of a choice between one and the other, but obviously I think Kelly thought I'd finish a bit sooner, so we're going to try and fit it in if we can. Will there be any animals out since you know, it's got all soggy and wet? The sun's out now, but uh, we'll just wait and see. Let's uh, see if we can get on it. Good news, we got in. Had time still, so yeah, let's go and do the safari. And up to the right, these are the Hartman's Mountain Zebra. Now these mountain zebras, unlike species of horses, they do not neigh or whinny as a way to communicate to one another. Instead, they do it through various chuffs and snorts and a whole bunch of other vocalizations to one another. People think spotted hyenas are related to the dog or canine family, but This is actually my first time seeing them since this morning. They had a way. Some good ones are counting on you guys.
on the line. Anyway, yeah, so that was the uh, uh, spammy. We saw a few animals there, uh, but it's like, like my watch has gone flat. Uh, it's just gone five o'clock, and we have got uh, light of passage to go into. Get a ride of Banshee. Uh, it's another one that we really love. We've done it once already on this trip, so we're going to go and do it again. We can't uh, video on that one, obviously, but uh, we'll enjoy it. And then after that, we haven't got any plans. Uh, I'm not sure what time we're going to Magic Kingdom yet for the fireworks. I'm going to check the weather again to see what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, it's time to get off the safari now and head over to um, Light of Passage. So it's the first shot, we're back in Pandora. Just loving the landscape. It's a nice view there. Not going to see much here because of the sun. First we're in the queue for uh, Light of Passage. I keep going to look at my watch for time. I mean it's gone dead. So I'm off phone. It's uh, just gone half past five. There's some fruit or something on that tree. See new things every time you kind of walk through the parks and, and the ride queues. You say, I can't remember seeing that last time. Back to the waterfall. You take an amazing Navi ride of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. Ah, you've all got them. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stay still over your number, you're not gonna feel a thing. You're doing great. Almost done here. They're all clear. Match with avatars. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside, all the way in, and stand over the same number that you're standing over. Uh, it's going to get uh, Night Blossom uh, drink, this one here. I'm just coming off uh, Flight of Passage. Get that from uh, Pongu Pongu. Why are you going for one of So, oh, that's dark. So we've had one of these before, it's got the Bormer Worlds on. Well, there it is. Something a bit different, a bit out of this world, a bit in and spacey. Yeah, cool. Uh, let, you think, let, you, let you know what we think. There we have it. Oh, in focus. <laughs> Did it tip it? Got orange bubble world on. And then what's what's inside? Oh yes, apple and then apple or something. Pear. Oh, it's passion fruit. Pear. Apple, Apple, pear, pear, and passion fruit. Butter. Passion fruit. Thomas knows it. How come you know it? Because it said on the thing. <laughs> Thomas said the sign. You just can't read. Thomas knows how to read it. I'm a bubble girl. Let's just start calling them bubble girls. You know it. Put it in. Don't squeeze it. It'll pop. Put it in your mouth. Tough that look. Don't drink. Put it in your mouth. Is this an Orbeez? No, it's like an Orbeez, it's not. You can eat it. Mmm, Orbeez. That's what I meant about. I don't want the black. Yeah, I don't want the black. Mmm, Dad, you haven't pulled it in the bubble. It's nice. That's nice. Really nice. Mm. You say it's sweet or sour? 
gaat, dat het gaat. Tot die bobo balls. You're pushing. I'll suck. There's toilets over there, we're going to the toilets. Wow. Wow. Literally right over there. No, really refreshing. Down. Really cools you down. Ah. Nice. Right, so we're uh, heading out of Animal Kingdom. Um, it's, well, it's gone 6 o'clock now. We're heading over to Magic Kingdom in hope that it doesn't rain and we get to see enchantment this evening. That's the plan what we're doing now. We're gonna go by car, just take the car and park in uh Tier Transportation Centre and uh Phoebe or Monorail into Magic Kingdom. Just getting dark now. Uh just heading into Magic Kingdom, the monorail that you can see on the right hand side. We're just saying we're racing the monorail. Oh we're coming up uh I don't need it now. I thought, I thought that would go way faster. Yeah, we overtook it. Just about. And we're going to stop the pair now. Oh, not pair, the receipt. Park hopper receipt, valid for all four parks. Oh, my window. Good. Hi there. Right, we're on our way in the Magic Kingdom. We have chosen the ferry boat again. It's about quarter past seven. We've got some food to pick up. One of us are going to uh, get a spot, probably going to go for the disability section. Uh, the other one is going to get the food. Right, we're here, we've made it in. People are lying in the uh, Sidewalks, the curbs, the main street already. Gonna go up and uh, I think we're gonna check the disability section. Well, there's a the castle that we love these ever.
Uh, so that was the enchantment. We eventually got to see it. I mean, not a very good view. Uh, maybe we left it a little bit late for coming in the park. The disability area on the left of the castle was full. On the right hand side, didn't even have it. I don't believe they had a dessert party, they said when I inquired. So, not too uh, you know, happy about that really. Um, getting rid of one of the disability areas, for, one of the dessert parties, we, we thought they were in like, one of the other sections. Um, but anyway, yeah, we kind of saw, we saw the fireworks really, because they're obviously high in the sky. Um, but the, the animations, projections, didn't see a lot of, to be honest. What I did see, I didn't think there was, there was much on it at all. Um, I think Happily Ever After was much, much better, uh, projection wise, um, possibly fireworks even. Um, so we had some amazing fireworks in Enchantment, to be fair, um, ones I hadn't seen before, the way they kind of like uh, opened up in this world and, and just different, new different pans I hadn't seen. Uh, at the end of the day we stayed at Enchantment, um, pretty good, always good to see some fireworks, um, just not sure it's the best one we've ever seen. So now we're going into Tomorrowland, we've got a DAS Pass booked for um, Space Mountain, so we're going to do that, uh, we're going to 11 o'clock tonight and then after Space Mountain probably, probably exit the park, we'll see after we've gotten the queue for Space Mountain we can book another DAS Pass, just because I think that's quite a low time. If it is, we'll book it, if not, we'll probably exit the park. Um, but yeah, I think we'll leave it there. A bit stressful with the fireworks and, and the crowds and things, so we'll leave it the video here tonight. And we're going to enjoy some rides. We've seen all the rides on the vlog um, that we're doing anyway. So we're just going to have some enjoyment, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will catch you next time.